an American businessman made his fortune from selling hundreds of thousands of properties on the moon. In 1980, Dennis Hope was at the end of his tether, broke and heading for the divorce courts. He had nothing to sell, no belongings, and no prospects. But he did have an unusual idea. Dennis Hope believed that if he had a lot of property, he could go into the bank, mortgage part of the property, put the money in his pocket, move to Los Angeles, and get an acting career going. Then Hope looked out the car window at 2.30 in the afternoon and saw the moon and thought, now there's a lot of property. In 1967, the United Nations Outer Imagine Space Treaty banned all nations from owning or controlling territory in space, but it failed to mention any restrictions for individuals. So having stumbled upon a loophole in the law, Dennis wrote to all the governments involved in the signing of the treaty, staking his claim to every square meter of land on the Moon, Mars, Venus, and all other planetary bodies in the solar system. Dennis stated in his correspondence that he intended to divide the land into individual plots and sell the property to anyone who wanted it, and made it clear that any objections to his plan should be filed immediately. That was 23 years ago. And so far, there have been no governmental objections. And this suits Dennis Hope just fine. Since 1980, he's sold many hundreds of thousands of properties on the moon. Indeed, at $20 US a pop, Celestial Property has bought more than a little moon dust into his bank account. Hope has made about $6.25 million in the years of selling property on the moon. In return for $19.99, buyers receive a property owner certificate and a map showing okay, where the I'm land is located. Non-earthly ownership hasn't exactly made a splash in the global real estate business. But industry insiders aren't as skeptical as you might think.